So original. Terrifying. Visceral. Insane, fucked up horror shit. I mean, I just loved it. Instant cult classic. I have had nightmares almost every night shooting this film. You hold the hand. I'm just gonna hold it. I'm just gonna like act out of possession. And you sit down and you get strapped up in a belt. So. Light the candle to open the door. And once the candle's lit, that opens the door to the spirit world. The person will shake the hand. And you say, talk, talk to, to me. me. Someone appears and... You're holding hands with a, a dead spirit. And then you say... I let you in. That's when the spirit like enters your body and takes control of you. Your mind and your all your memories and all your faculties. It's like a drug. Don't do too much of it. You gotta know when to stop. After 90 seconds, you have to rip it off them. Otherwise, the spirit wants to stay. Hey, I'm Danny Philippo. This is my client, Michael Philippo, and we directed the film Talk To Me. Danny and Michael are really like such incredible directors. I thought they'd be really fun to work with. I had no idea what they'd done before, except that I was told that they they had a YouTube channel. Obviously, like they've got a unique background with YouTube and everything. Growing up in Adelaide, they're like huge here. Me and my brothers were super into their videos. A lot of them became like sensations in our household. And then when I got the script and everything, and I saw it was Raka Raka, I was like, Wow, no way. The YouTube stuff was always very run and gun and nothing was really thought through very much. It was all just sort of made up on the spot. The difference is time. It's a lot slower on a film. And even like getting permissions and stuff, like if we wanted to film on a train track, Raka Raka, we just trespass and film on the train track. <laughs> Of the film, there was more of a plan, there was a team. Uh, you know, everything was thought out, every single shot, every single line, like everything was like analyzed properly. But we still adopted the same energy that we have on our Raka Raka video. The most important things as a director is your energy because you're really driving the whole thing. And they create such an incredible environment on set for creativity to, to flourish. At times they like come up with ideas in the moment and like feel inspired in the moment and they're so willing to just try things out. I find it fascinating how they work. They're kind of so, their focus is so razor sharp. Their energy <laughs> is insane. Exploring stuff and throwing curveballs at you. These neighbour kids that we watch grow up uh, one of them was experimenting with drugs and they were having a really negative reaction to the drug and they were on the floor convulsing and everyone was uh, filming him on the floor and laughing at him. And I found the footage quite striking and horrifying at the same time and that was the first nugget of inspiration for what became Talk To Me. This idea of teenagers using possession to get high and that actually becoming like a trick, a party game and a thrill and an outlet that actually then can unravel into a psychological descent. Mia is the protagonist, the start of the story. Like, you know, she's grieving and she has a complicated home life. Mia, who's lost her mother um, some years before. The absence of her is kind of the crux of Mia's character arc. And this, this kind of longing for connection. And so I think that kind of manifests itself. Everything that we've ever done, everything we've ever made was in pursuit of this, of making our first feature film. It was just the best experience ever. I loved every second of it. I felt like I was dreaming and I cannot wait to another movie. And cut, we got it! Yeah. Yeah.